Ariana, your tarot life coach, bringing you your new moon in Pisces tarot scope, big baby. Energy read, yeah. Welcome back, family. Big, big hugs, lots and lots of love, high fives, and some damn dirty shoulder rubs. Pat on the booty, kiss on the cheek, tassel of the mane, and a high five. I'm just telling you, we're going to need all the love and affection we can get. <laughs> if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for giving me an opportunity to join with you. Hit that like, maybe that share, hit that subscribe. We can be called family. And then I can pat you on the booty too, all right? All right, guys. With that being said, this is just a general look at the energies coming in, how to kind of work with it. It's not specified to any certain sign, okay? Now, with that being said, I am not an astrologer. I read a lot and I've been following this really cool chick called Energetic Principles. She has a really great article. I'm going to put it in um, the description box. Super, super love the way she describes it. She even goes sign by sign and talks about different things and just the energies around you and how to work with this new moon. Super, super awesome. Anyways, so we have this new moon on March 17, which is St. Patty Day. All right. I hope you're going to be drinking it up. Maybe, maybe some kale juice, okay? So you're not like too toasty. <laughs> Anyways, with that being said, March 17th is a huge, huge day. So we have this new moon and it's conjunct Chiron, okay? <sighs> Chiron, Chiron. I just feel like Chiron has like some really great energies, but it's very misunderstood, okay? So he was known as like this super huge healer, you know, great teacher. And then he got shot in the blaze of glory, okay, with a poisoned arrow. And he was unable to heal himself. So he's known as the wounded healer. So that is why a lot of times as a healer, many healers, you'll hear them, they'll speak and they'll talk about how they got to where they were and how they're doing this and how they're doing that. And um, I've experienced a lot of trauma in my life. Um, through relationships, you know, through not my parents. I wasn't abused like that. Um, I can't say that I was. I had a wonderful childhood. I My abuse came as an adult, um, early teenage years, uh, through other people, you know, and I learned a lot of lessons that were hard, and I'm still working through a lot of them. However, during that process, I've been able to help other people heal, and that's a lot of times of how we work with our healing energies. Now, taking that into understanding that it's it's in Pisces, you know, it's working with that energy of the little fish, okay? Lots of emotions. So this is going to have to be about a time to create new ways of healing. Um, also paying a lot of attention to your dreams. I know I posted the other day on Instagram a lucid dream I had. Like I actually felt the mouse in my hand, the skin. I mean, I, I still can't get over this dream. So I've been working a lot with my dreams. If you're ever interested in a dream interpretation, I do those reads to you. I actually love doing those kinds of things. But it's paying attention to all of that because our subconscious is really trying to like knock us down right now. So this is a great time to love on yourself, treat yourself, you know, take care of yourself and honor yourself. So along with that conjunct Chiron, we got this trine to Jupiter that's retrograde in the sign of Scorpio. All this water, okay, as we head on into Aries. <laughs> So trying to re repair some some things, maybe restore, realign, that kind of kind of energy is coming through. And then bum, 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 we have Mars, Sun, Saturn, and Pluto all in Capricorn, which is like not the most copacetic events. <laughs> This is like, I always refer to Capricorn as Big Daddy, okay? Big Daddy is coming in. He's going to tell you to like realign your life. Get your shit together is what it's saying. So this is a great time to look at your chart, kind of see where Capricorn falls, like which house it falls, and kind of understand the energies that might be coming in for you. Now, on the 21st, like I said, we're going right into Aries. Hey, hey, hey. And that's like Happy New Year for some people, okay? Now, let's jump into our read. And let's see what kind of energy we pull up as a family, as a collective, okay? Now... When I asked which cards wanted to come out for the, for the moon energy, we got um, these two cards in the center. So I normally just pull one, but two came out, so we're going to go with it. I'm not going to fight it, okay? I'm not going to be stubborn in my ways and say, no, this is the way it has to be. So Abundance of Sothis 
This is about like celestial blessings. Look at that wheat. It's coming in, baby, with the sun in a blaze of glory. So this is like maybe you've gone through a time of restriction. Maybe financially it's been rough, emotionally rough. You ain't got no friends. You ain't got nobody. You know, you're feeling kind of down and out. This is like a sign that open up your heart and channel some different energies. It's almost like go and collaborate with others. Create something new. And this is coming in. Act in faith. Be brave and take steps um, to ready yourself right now. And while you're doing that, they go like beautifully together. You know, the abundance of Sothis is, is coming in and telling you, reap the benefits of the energy. It does not have to be loom and gloom. And you're going to do this like high player style. You're going to be doing this to being true to you, standing in your true essence. And you got her holding her cane. She's got her scepter in her hand, her thigh popped out, and she is ready to rule the world. This is time to own it, baby. Own your power. Own your grace. Wear it like gold on your neck okay because you've earned it all right now mentally we're going through a lot <laughs> i don't know if you are but i sure am all right it's not peaches and cream all the time okay personal power is coming through and this is the reason why i bought the deck this card right here i'm telling you Oh, and she's creating another deck, guys. Sacred Oracle reading cards by Anna Stark. And she's got another one coming. And I can't wait. I'm like biting my nails. Can't wait for it to come out. But this card is about getting rid of toxic relationships, toxic holdbacks. It's like you are like seeing things and you're like, not today. I wanted to say not to today, bitches. That's <laughs> That's really how I feel. You're not doing this to me today. I'm not going to take it. I don't have to deal with it. All this blue is coming out. I'm thinking throat chakra action so hardcore, but almost in a different way. You know, throat chakra is about really opening up and expressing yourself. But I feel like this one is like, you're going to keep your mouth shut. You're going to listen to what they have to say. You're going to weigh the pros and cons, and then you're going to decide. Mm -mm not today and take your little happy ass somewhere else where you can be true to who you are and you don't have to stand there and take on that toxic energy but this is releasing the victimization mode letting it go and becoming a survivor okay like destiny child i'm a survivor you have to come out of it it's like wake up baby you can't stay in that victim mode forever it's okay to cry but tomorrow's another day okay now physically not for you Okay, I mean, if you even, if you look at this card, I mean, she has such a great sense of humor. It's a chess game. Okay, and it's it's number six. So I'm going to tell you, so this could be pertaining like to some exes who are coming back. It may not be for you, all right? Just, just let that one go. <laughs> but the damn cookie says, nope. <laughs> and to me, that's like, well, damn. You know, you're hoping that you're going to get like something really good out of your fortune cookie. And it's like, nope. Okay, so this is kind of telling you, like, don't even play the game. Don't play into other people's bullshit. Stand up for yourself, and you don't have to stand up for yourself by making a scene. This is like, nah, not today. I'm not going to do it today. Mm -mm. And then spiritually, we have the polar bear, which I believe the polar bear is like, oh my gosh. This is what I refer to as the ice man, baby. Ice, ice, baby. We're going to go... All the way through this one and we're gonna talk about the strength the endurance and the ability to withstand the most coldest of situation and once again it's this blue color coming in but what I want you to notice is neither mouths are open they're closed because they're listening I feel like this is a time to listen to your intuition a time to listen to what people are really saying and seeing if their actions really fit to it but it says stand up for yourself and speak your truth respectfully, all right, and compassionately with no attachment to the outcome. A lot of times we want to say our piece, but we want it to go a certain way. You know, like I'm going to say this. I don't know if y'all ever practice this. These are like my conversations I have in the car. I'm like, oh, I'm going to say this and then this is going to happen and then this is going to happen and then I'll say it and none of that ever happens. <laughs> and I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> it's not supposed to go this way. Like what the hell happened? So that's the energy that's coming in. It's about really listening to our intuition, really trusting what, what our gut is telling us and saying, you know what, if this activity, if this person if this job if this place isn't meant for me I need to go and seek what is and I need to be true to who I really am all right so that is the general energies coming in now 
We're going to do a spread, baby. We're going to see what is coming. Let's bless this deck. Rolling a two, and I'm cutting the deck. Oh, hold on, I gotta flip it. Cutting the deck. Ah, oh, strength in a time of imbalance. Very fiery though, because this is like the sign of Leon. This is the sign of Sagittarius, baby. We got lots of fiery energy. So I'm gonna tell you, strength isn't always in the one who's the loudest. Strength can sometimes be done in silence. And you see behind him is that ziggurat. That ziggurat is his home, baby. That's where he lives. That's where he lays his head. And this tree is the tree of life. It, has, it needs to get some roots. All right? We need to get rooted into what we want it to be. see what comes out okay <laughs> all right first position we have the tower knocking it down baby we have the fool high priestess reversed six of wands and a message from our guides with the nine of arrows so let's pull that in so I'm looking at the numbers real quick six seven zero two and nine okay so how to uh, work with the energy best? I must say, um, watch the shit show go down. <laughs> Grab you some popcorn, pull up a chair, and enjoy that some shit that's gotta fall apart just gotta go, baby. Some things we energetically hold on a little bit too damn tightly, okay? What I do find interesting is we have these three majors right in front of these minors, okay? So majors to me, I feel like are super strong energies, and I feel like the tower, <sighs> The tower, a lot of people always think of it as negative, right? But sometimes we have to start at ground zero. And I kind of feel like we're starting at ground zero here. We're kind of going to look at things and be like, okay, we can only go up from here. And this is Tammuz. Not Tammuz, I'm sorry. This is Tiamat and the Emperor. And they are having it out. And I feel like this is Aries season coming in strong. And it's about to rip some shit down, all right? And this tower is going down no matter what happens. There's lightning going on. I feel like a lot of heart chakras going on because of all that green. And it's trying to have some solar plexus energy come through and say, no, baby, be true to you. Stand up for who you are and do what you gotta do, okay? So how to manage the energy? energy best is I kind of feel just allow it to happen ah I know you're probably like really why why would you say that well because sometimes when you fight the energy it makes it a lot worse it's kind of like go with the flow I'm not telling you to stand there and get beat down but I'm just saying you know when you try to fight those emotions sometimes it gets a little bit harder now blue heron is going to clarify this energy for us and this one is, a, is another throw shocker card for me. Make a stand for what you believe in and do what feels right in spite of any judgment or disapproval from others. And I feel like this is you standing your ground. If you don't like something, you're going to have to put your foot down. You're going to have to stand up for what you believe in. And then I like the fact that he's in the water. You know, he's, he's like a little scrub a in the water because he's emotionally going with the flow, baby. And he's looking at his new beginning at this nice, sexy beast of a man, <laughs> which is the fool who saying embark on an adventure and that's where we need to focus is sometimes things gotta break it down to build it up and this is you taking a chance taking a chance and going after what it is you truly desire and what you truly want right i'm not even gonna clarify that now how can you be more compassionate is the high priestess and she's reversed <laughs> 
listen to your intuition, okay? That little voice inside your head that says, don't do it, or that big gut punch that gets, that says, don't go there, do this, do that. That's, that's your intuition, tap into that. It's trying to lead you. Trust the energy, and sometimes you go through the darkness to get to the light, and sometimes you gotta be in the dark to see the stars shine, okay? It ain't always easy breezy cover girl, okay? Now, to be more compassionate, not only with others, but with yourself, and I'm learning this. Um, I listen to the way I talk to other people who are going through really hard times, and I'm like, I'm like, damn, that was really nice. And then I'll get myself into a bind or something bad happens to me, and I like literally kick myself in the groin, it feels like, my gosh, I say some really mean things to myself. And I'm like, wow, if only I could harness that energy for myself, and that is I need to listen to my higher power. I need to invite that conversation and uninvite my ego <laughs> because it's not helping at all. And I wanna clarify to see how we can um, invite the high priestess in. And we're gonna go with this deck right here. Oh, flew right out. Okay. Okay. It's time to wake up from our sleep. It's time to move forward and it's time to invite this new life. I feel that there's a lot of changes coming in, whether it's an energetic change, a relationship change, whatever it is, somebody's putting on their big girl and big boy pants and they're gonna step through this with some damn dirty success, baby, some victory, because we have the six of arrows coming, uh, the six of wands, sorry. Six of Wands. I, I was going to say calmer waters, but this looks like we're going to, um, I don't know. My daughter's been doing the Elmo slide. <laughs> that's the song that's in my head. Elmo slide. We're going to Elmo slide it all up over here, okay? And this is how we're going to do our self-care. Sometimes people get their self-care through like massages and hot baths. I do my self-care through cardio, okay? Because... I need to sweat it out, I gotta get it out, I gotta get all this high energy out of myself and I gotta get my mind right. So find what works well for you. I like to meditate too, but I only like to meditate at certain times of the day. I can't meditate like super early in the morning because I fall back to sleep. So <laughs> I'll do my affirmations. It's like doing the little things. Maybe it's making yourself a hot cup of tea before you go to bed, you know, and putting on some soothing music to tap into this Pisces energy instead of looking at your social media. Maybe it's just being kind to yourself or doing something with your family. Whatever type of self-care you're, you're gonna do, you need to step in into that shit and own it because it's going to lead you to victory and it's actually taking you to a new way of being because it's time to wake your ass up okay now <laughs> your messages from above is coming in with the nine of arrows stop self sabotaging the new beginning stop getting in your own way because you see this line is like trying to bite the tire okay it's trying to take that cart down no matter what and it's being attacked and for me like when i feel attacked I think I attack myself more than other people attack me and I just create these stories like oh my gosh this is happening and this is happening and my whole world's gonna fall apart because I like go from super cope aesthetic to cata cataclysm how what is it cata catalytic danger I like jump like 50 billion hoops because I'm a fire sign I guess I'm a Leo I go from zero to a hundred and like 0.2 seconds really quickly and that's one of my areas I don't know if you guys experience that when things aren't going your way it's just like you try to take everything down but this is almost like not harboring that energy and so the message from above is to release and let energy flow the way it's supposed to not from that deck okay so from above, what can we harness? Ha, huh, ha. Huh. I had three cards come out. Let's see here. Same number four. Uh, nope. Yep. Is that a yell too? So I'm getting two cards that want to come out. So, <clears throat> spider. 
infinity and beyond number eight baby for me the number eight is really really important because it's the strength card right it's also the infinity sign eight legs the body is an eight the there's infinite possibilities if you can creatively solve your problem and it's talking about putting it down on paper write down your affirmations write down your goals write down what you want so that the universe can see that you're being extremely like focused and when I'm looking at spider I don't know why a ride or die just came right through my head and you need to be ride or die for your goals you need to weave your web and you need to make sure that in that chaos of that web that you create that you're gonna catch what it is you need to get to the next level okay and then tortoise comes in to tell you to slow your ass down <laughs> get yourself grounded okay be calm you little fragmented let the energy flow. And what I kind of see in these two cards is there's stuff in the background. This has like the web and this has like, I don't know, like some crazy like spirals going on. Makes me think of Choku Ray for Reiki or something. Create something that you can visually see that is going to get you where you need to be. Whether it's a damn phrase, a picture, a vision board. A drawing I don't care a magazine cutout whatever it is that is going to help you stay grounded and creative as you work through that night nightmare that you think you're working through okay now whew, that is the energy for the new Pisces moon for me for us as a family as a collective <laughs> so with that being said I wanted to pull another card kind of for our Chiron energy hmm and we got more throat chakra guys <coughs> Here we go. I don't know where to put him. This is Mount St. Michael, and the energy focus on this sacred site is in Normandy, France, okay? The focus is belief. And it talks about the car about a sacred place, Karnak and Brittany, okay? About the stones that enabled higher vibrational energy to enter the earth plane. And it talks about Archangel Michael, who legend has it offered the symbol of the Florida de Luz to human floor de Lis to humanity. Is there someone important to you from your past who you cut out of your life? You're being asked to rethink, oh Lord, Mercury retrograde right here, <laughs> who you have cut out. You're asked to rethink what you believe to be true of them and to consider new possibilities. B, by reopening dialogue with them, you may come to a new understanding of the past. Your relationship may once again become strong like the stones of Karnak and stand the test of time. If this ain't some damn dirty Chiron medicine coming down our throat, <laughs> I don't know what it is. Anyways, in the middle world, which is the present, okay? So that was the past. That's what Chiron is trying to highlight. He got his purple, well, his neon yellow bright highlighter, and he circled your wound, and he said, remember this? It's time to heal it because we need to go be the damn dirty fool and walk into our new beginning, okay? So, it wants to know what will it take for you to realize that admitting you are sometimes wrong is not a bad thing. Oh, no. I'm <laughs> just lame. Open yourself up to new understandings of any challenging relationships that are in your life now. Your new attitude will meet you with great reward, okay? <clears throat> the possibility or the potential of this it talks about an awakening and enlightening is coming to you. It's that new life, baby, that's trying to break through. If you look in the card right here, you're trying to wake up and create a way. It says, have faith and trust in the knowledge Michael will give you about certain important people in your life. As you come to learn more about them, you'll feel more able to believe in them again. The people with whom you are reconnecting now will be of help as you follow your life path. And Archangel Michael is about healing. He is about cutting cords, but he is definitely here to help you open your throat chakra, help you express yourself, and to move into your new life that's waiting for you, like Pocahontas says just around the river bend all right so with that being said guys i wish you nothing but the best celebrate some saint patty day drink you a beer drink you some kale if you're super healthy <laughs> and have a blessed time guys it does not have to be negative energy this is time to reprogram reprocess reassess realign and do it all over again and may you be blessed and walk through this time with lots of messages so i can figure out what's going on with you guys and we can stay in communication. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, with that being said, guys, if you're interested in a read, don't forget I do have the Mercury Retrograde special going on, um, one question videos for 20, and if you're interested in a read, hit me up at arianaluciano at gmail.com or on the gram at arianaluciano. Be blessed, fam.